This is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. Now, the first banger on the list is Ethereum Classic. Now, let's talk about it, baby. If you're running it up with Ethereum Classic, I want to see some rockets in the comments. Let's get it. Ethereum Classic is currently, at the time of this recording, $157 a coin. It's up like 50% on a day. On a week, it's up over 300%. However, on a year, it's up over 2 thousand percent and these numbers might change by the time you see it but if you're running it up with me hit that comment section and let me see some rockets baby now what's going on with this one just eight hours ago capital.com they posted an article and they added some new price targets to this company however i want you to be up on these plays as early as us so now hit that discord link in the top comment so you can stop being late on the plays we welcome you with open arms family and just know this hit that weebo link in the top comment and get some free stocks as well now let's talk about it again ethereum take your symbol etc and again eight hours ago this is what happened capital.com they posted an article and it was titled etc coin price predictions all the way from 2021 all the way out to 2028 and then they ask a question now this question is kind of a leading question where they're trying to answer it and make you think a certain way but it says is it sustainable is this rally basically going to sustain itself now why is this important because if you were to read through this article you would see that the mainstream media is trying to add some mixed signals they're trying to praise the coin for being able to run up the way that it is and then they're trying to hate a little bit on the same time so then it make you confused about it now this adds fear uncertainty and doubt into the market it makes coins and stocks just trade a little funny and unpredictably but now let's talk about it they saying this they're saying that by the year 2021 this is going to go to 244 this is what they say but watch the mix signal happen watch so they saying it's going to go to 244 and then they saying it's going to fall to 149 in 2022 however that's not the mix signal this is our crypto moves it'll run all the way up and then come all the way back down that makes sense right but keep following me on this. So notice that they said in 2023, it's going to fall all the way to 132, right? And then they saying by 2025, it's going to be 112. Now, here's the mixed signal. Notice 2025 right here. It says that they're going to have it at 112, basically four years from now. But also look at this bar graph that they got right here. And where you see 21, 22, all the way 2025, that 2025 bar graph it's over the $200 line. So what they're doing is, oh, we made a mistake type thing. No, actually what they're trying to do is add some fear into the market. But why do they do stuff like this? These institutions and these mainstream media things, they got power over the people. So what they try to do is add the fear so then they could buy in low and then you sell out high. And then guess what? They're going to run it up even higher than you sold it. And next thing you know, you buying back in even higher than you sold. And then they win and you lose. Now, I want you to ask yourself this. What are the big dogs doing? Because if you want to be a billionaire, again, you got to think like one, baby. Now, the big dogs is doing this. And another car, another article came out, in fact, and it's telling you what the big dogs is doing. It's saying that the large institutions, Ethereum Classic, is appealing to them more than ever before. And they revealed that they now own, the large institutions, they now own 3.6% of the total supply, which is not that great of a percent. However, it used to be zero, but now it's jumping. And then this happened before, like a month ago, so it's even more than that now. So why is Ethereum Classic running up? Because the large institutions, they're buying what is called grayscale shares, and they're encouraging the large institution called Grayscale to buy more Ethereum Classic. So if you want to know more about Grayscale, check my video out before this one. However, they're buying all of the large institutions. They're starting to buy Grayscale shares, and they're forcing Grayscale to buy Ethereum. Grayscale gives them ex Ethereum exposure. That's pretty much what I'm trying to tell you. Now, what are the price targets on this? The price targets on this are as follows. So now, they're saying in 2021, they say that this coin, Ethereum Classic, before it was 500, they're saying it's going to 1,000 in 2021. Remember, it may or may not. This is a price target by analysts. However, if it does go there, it might not just go straight there. This is cryptocurrency. You got to be prepared. I'm going to tell you every single time. You got to be prepared for 80% swings. That's 80% swinging down and 80% swinging up. Now, they're saying by 2024, it's going to be 2,000. But you can imagine that this is going to change as this coin runs up. 
They're saying by 2027, it's going to be 5,000, and then they're giving it a $10,000 price target by 2031. Now, how do we play this one? The same way that we've been playing it. We've been using strike days, aka you pick some days. If you get paid on Friday, you're going to put $50 on it basically every Friday to try to dollar cost average in. You could pick Monday through Friday, but that means if you have $500, then you're going to put $100 on every single day so when it's running up you averaging up and when it's coming down you averaging down and then you end up with a nice solid average price to take you straight to the promised land baby i'll see you there now let's get to the next banger on the list and the next banger on the list is this it's palantir ticker symbol p l t r now currently palantir has broke through that 19 dollar about 19 dollars and 80 cents it broke through that support line aka this floor that it was on it broke through it so that means that it has the chance to crash down it has since come back up a little bit and i'll tell you in a second right now so currently it's at 1988 so it's trying to hold on to this floor so you could buy it at this point that's a decent buy zone however at this level at the floor you're gonna need to put a stop loss on it if you never did so before because if it crashes down through the floor this is an indication that this thing is gonna crash basically another 30 percent 20 percent you don't want to go down with it after it broke through its own floor it's pretty much a free fall from there but if you could buy it at these levels put your 10 percent stop loss on it that's how you play this so now what's going on with them because i always tell you the company is a banger even if the stock is down so when the company is doing numbers but the stock is coming down that is what a discount looks like you got to remember that in your head now let's talk about it there's another company and it's called cellularity and it was just posted on May 5th at 8 a.m. that Cellularity entered a multi-year strategic partnership with Palantir Technologies. And it said it's set to do this. It's set to accelerate research and development activities. Also, it is a $100 million funding activity for Cell... What's the name of this company? Cellularity. Now, it's spelled funny, so I had to just retry it again. But let's break down some of this article. They're saying this that Cellularity will use Palantir's Foundry platform to leverage its artificial intelligence. Why are they trying to leverage artificial intelligence? Because it will help lead to better data-driven decision-making. And who is Cellularity? They're this. They're a next evolution in cellular medicine. That's what they basically focus on. So now, I always tell you again, if you want to be a billionaire, you got to think like one baby. So what are the big dogs doing? The big dogs is doing this. Now, just two days ago, they picked up $100,000 worth of this. And I always tell you what the big dogs are doing because I want you to know what do billionaires think is a good price. So if you could get in under them, guess what? You win at a good price because they know things that you and I will never know. Now, for example, they bought it at $22 a share. Now, you could get in at 19 or lower your average down. If you lower your average down, you already know what time it is. Now, they picked up $2.2 million worth of this and then... They bought 50,000 shares at 23. They thought that was a good price so you could undercut again and get in lower than the big dogs. Now, they picked up $1.1 million worth of this. Now, again, let's go to the price targets on this and why I'm telling you, you need to put your 10% stop loss on it at these levels. And it's because of this. Look at the low price target. It's 15. Now, if the low price target is 15, then that means that this could crash from here and go to 15. It don't necessarily mean that it will because we know that 1980 is about a floor for it. But if it crashes through the floor, it's probably going to come down to 15. And then we got it at 24 at the median price target and then 40 at the high price target. How do we play this one? We're going to use a strike price, a.k.a. if I see a price I like, I strike. And if I don't, we pass on the play. There will always be another play, baby. And the first strike price is right now. It's right now. Bow. And then the next strike price, baby, is $18. If you see $18, bow, bow. And then the next strike price is this. First, you should get kicked out due to your stop loss and be ready to buy back in at 14. It may not come down there, but you want to be prepared, not surprised. What are the five P's? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say it with me again. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You want to be prepared, not surprised. Now, how long we hold on to any of these? Ethereum Classic, I want you to hold on to this or be willing to hold on to this if you so choose to hold on to it long term. If not, consider taking profits once you get up 100%. But personally, I'm holding on to my Bitcoin, my Ethereum, my Ethereum Classic, and I'm not letting it go. Now, 
if you think it's gonna crash and you can't handle that kind of heat then you already know what time it is you can sell out of it but other than that i love y'all hit that like button and show your boy some love come join the discord family if you're trying to be up on the plays take care